If you'd asked me when I was a kid what I wanted the most, it would have been to live in that magical world I saw in my head. When I picture my inner child, it's me when I was six. It was my purest, most creative state when I believed that anything was possible. And the thing about kids is we don't put any limits on our dreams. And if you told me that magical tree houses existed all over the world, I wouldn't have questioned it at all. But I didn't know anyone who had a tree house as a kid. And so now as an adult, I'm making up for lost time. This is really, really, really cool. <laughs> Just arrived. I'm so excited just seeing the outside. Hello. All right, welcome to our tiny home tree house for the next evening. First thing you notice when you come in is that this is actually a two-story tree house and there's bunk beds up there. If you did actually have little kids, I'm sure that they would be psyched about that. Over here, we have our little like dining area, our little seating area. Apparently these, oh yes. Oh, that's good. We'll do the projector later. It comes down here and we can watch those episodes of Treehouse Masters all about how they built this place. We're watching the best thing on TV. Over here is our sleeping area and I obviously have to do the ultimate bed test. Oh, that's a nice firm mattress too. But like a comfy one, like a spongy one. Our little kitchenette over here, just a microwave and a fridge here. But look at what's inside of this fridge. Look at all the snacks. You got your coffee maker here, even more snacks over here. And the whole thing is controlled by an echo system. Let's ask it to do something. Echo, play forest sounds. Play loop relaxing forest sounds. I love that you have this mossy tree coming up through the deck here. Come on up. Pretty cool view, huh? <laughs> Good job. So here's the toilet. The toilet, running water sink. And then over here, over here we have the outdoor shower. Big outdoor shower enthusiast. Check it out. It's got a double shower head, plenty of room. So we can have a shower party later. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think you're really Or actually pretty warm. Really warm. Okay. <laughs> Love a double shower head. And you don't have to fight over who gets to stand in the warm water. <laughs> and over here they actually have a little zip line system. And over here it's all beaver territory apparently. So it's this big um, wetlands area. And then on the other side of this there's an amazing forest theater that we're about to go check out. really 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 cool oh my gosh there's so much That would be so cool. You have all these different seating options. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Next big birthday, I just want to get a bunch of friends together and rent this out. <laughs> this this would is be really cool. So cool. 
place is not just a theater. It's like a whole compound with trails and owls and all these like places that you can camp. It's worth mentioning it's not always accessible because it's a separate rental from the treehouse, but if you're here when it's not rented out and you can come check it out, it's really, really beautiful. Or rent it out with a bunch of people. <laughs> it's definitely getting the wheels in my head turning. A bad sunset, huh? Rotisserie chicken salad dinner. Got the soup. Great company. Cheers. Cheers. Apparently there is a magical forest show where we saw the theater earlier, so we're going back over there because we don't want to miss that. Just scaring frogs left and right. Hello, friend. I feel like you're gonna give me life advice right now. You look Buddha. so smart. It's yeah. Like a Buddha. It's like the happy a frog Buddha. <laughs> Spooky! I like it. I like it. This is pretty cool at night too. Okay, seeing this during the day was super cool, but seeing it at night, then you can really get the full idea of like what it would be like to watch a movie here. And this is your awesome theater screen. I mean, yeah, you can watch it from here, here. So cool. Wow. Neat. And there's owl friends. <laughs> Hi friend. Turns out that this is a huge TV show that probably everyone but me knows about on Animal Planet. This guy goes around building amazing tree houses all over the world. And we just happen to be staying in one tonight. Apparently there's another surprise. We'll see. <laughs> Yo, it's editing Kristen. Now we're getting to the point in the video where there are major spoiler alerts if you think you're going to ever stay in this treehouse. So if you have it booked or you're going to stay in it in the future, even if you think you might, skip to this timestamp because I don't want to ruin the biggest surprise for you. Otherwise, check this out. Welcome to the Emerald Forest Lighting Ceremony. FYI, directly behind you in the building at the end of the string lights is a bathroom for the ladies to use. Guys? Go find a tree. It's the best part of being a guy in the forest. <laughs> but do not pee on the electric fence. The lights are about to go out. Enjoy. special zipline thing that happens in the morning. <laughs> Echo, zipline breakfast. Wow, you couldn't wait until 9 o'clock? <laughs> so much for deferred gratification. <laughs> we thought I'd grow some legs and run into the garage because you couldn't wait. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Don't go back. Don't go back. Grab it. Grab the line. <laughs> you gotta get. What do we got? Ooh, ooh, yogurt, oats, muffins. Oh, look at all this fruit. It's good stuff. Oh, they sent eggs for me. I asked for these. That was nice. Got juice. Ooh, and look at the, the danishes. This is one big reason why I wanted to book this place so badly, among all the other things, and that is hot tub time. Hot tub time. Off he goes. <laughs> yes. Echo, turn on jets. <laughs> Magic. end of our stay at this fancy amazing tree house and was it worth it 
I yes. think so, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it was worth it. I mean, $536 for one night does seem really steep, but you get so much with that. Yeah, it's more than just um, a treehouse stay. There's a whole experience and secrets and surprises with it, so. Yeah, and like hot tub, you have this beautiful pond with all these animals. We just had the best time here, and like once you're here, you don't even want to leave. Like there's no reason to leave. You probably don't even want to like eat out or anything. You just bring food. Totally, 100% worth it, and I'm surprised to say that because I don't think we've ever spent this much on one night before. I'm glad that we chose here to be the first place to do such a thing. Oh my gosh, it is bittersweet to leave this magical place. I will forever remember the smell of cedar and the magical evening that we had. <laughs>